How's it going everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Adam and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to start and plant your pepper seeds. So you don't have to buy any transplants from the nursery. You can just start them yourself from seed. I have two different kinds of peppers that I'm gonna be planting today. One of them is some sweet banana peppers. We sprouted these sweet banana peppers with using the germination method of just a, a moist paper towel in a bag. And we actually put them in a closet uh, and forgot about them. So when I show you these ones, that's the reason why that they have sprouted so much and they're actually, they've shelled and the leaves are coming out of them in the paper towel method. And then the second kind that I'm gonna be planting here is a hot pepper mix. So I'll switch the camera around and I'll show you what we're working with and we'll get planted. All right, so right here is uh, some sweet banana peppers. And a super easy way that you can get good germination success is just put your uh, paper towel, moisten a paper towel, and then put it in a plastic bag. Uh, over there yonder, I have a heat pad, but if you don't have a heat pad, you can just put it on uh, a windowsill, tape it onto a window, and, uh, and Bob's your uncle, and you'll have good germination success like I'm about to show you here. I've done already, one planting of uh, of these. You can see there that they're already starting to, uh, to have their green leaves come in on them. So that is exactly what we're looking for. Zoom in a little bit for y'all. And uh, you see them, they are just super, super healthy, all kinds of good seeds. That's exactly all that I did here, was just moisten a paper towel and uh, put my seeds in there. Great success with that method right there. A couple of them are still spurting up. You can see the tap root coming out there, but a lot of them over here, they are just ready to plant. So I have some containers over here. Uh, when you're using your containers, just make sure that there's good drainage holes on the bottom. Uh, make sure you have them, them labeled. I have the hot pepper mix uh, February 20th. That's what today is. So yeah, we're gonna get these puppies planted here momentarily. Right, so we're gonna get planting here. Now peppers, they're super finicky. So uh, when you're germinating them, definitely got to make sure that they have a good heat source. Uh, they don't like cold temperatures. Same with uh, when you're growing them, when you're getting ready to grow them. So what I'm going to do here is I have it, uh, I have it all marked off when I'm planting it and what they are here. And I just have uh, a stick that I'm going to use. So I'm going to plant probably three or four in each. And that way I'm going to be able to pick the, the easiest ones and the most strongest ones to be able to, uh, to pull through and call them off, call off the other ones. So uh, as you see there, I'm just putting in a little hole, about yay deep, however deep the, uh, the tap root is on them. You see on some of them there that the, uh, the tap root is fairly, fairly deep on them. And they're even especially deeper on the other ones that we're gonna plant. So I'm just gonna make a couple holes there. As you see, twirl it around a couple times. There you go, plant four on this one. And all we're gonna do might have to since they're so far down in there you might have to just use your uh, stick or popsicle stick or something and just finesse them out as you see right here so that one's all set and all ready and what we're going to do is just we're going to plant him just right in that hole right there. So you see there we have him in the hole right there. And uh, after that we're just going to give him a little poke down in. And then just kind of bring in the soil on either sides. Packing it down. Just like so. See him sticking out there. And then we're going to do the same to the other holes. Get these guys ready to go in. That root's pretty long. Doing it this way, sometimes you might have them uh, grow right into the paper towel too. And if that's the case, then it's fine if you get a little paper towel left on it. You can see some's on that one. A little bit of paper towel, that's fine. It's biodegradable, so we'll get him just thrown in this hole right here. And we get one more in there. Like so. And 
and make sure to plant the top root down. There we go. Now that we got all of those in there, I'm just going to go around and uh, put some soil in and around the root. Get that guy in the hole first. There we go. Oh, this guy is all stuck together. Got to be as gentle as you can. Try not to break that tap root. That's okay. There we go. He'll pop up out of there. And there, just like that. Got four in there planted. And uh, we'll set them aside. And we'll go off to the next ones that we have here and do the same. Now these ones, these are some uh, sweet banana peppers and we let these go a little bit, a little bit too long. You could see the roots just already start to, uh, to come out of the paper towel there. If I can zoom in on it and actually get it focused in. You can see them just growing right through. Open it right up, and it's literally just plants growing in there. So that's what you could possibly have happen if you let it go too, too long. It is have all those, uh, all those pepper plants now I have to try and separate. Easy to plant that way. We're going to do the same thing. Let's grab our container and we're going to just, we're going to have to make some deep holes with these ones. So there's one and let's just grab him right there. And so you just kind of stick him down in the hole there. Give him a little, uh, maybe poke with the stick that you have. There we go. Plant him deep. I do the same thing, pack the, uh, pack the soil in and around, and uh, you can move on to the next. So I'll make three other holes. Do the same thing, plant four in there, why not, eh? Together, if it'll go in the hole. There we go. Four peppers. Do the same thing. Just pack some dirt around it. They're yellow and unhealthy looking now, but once you get them under some light, they'll spring back up and change color green, just like the ones you've seen in the uh, the other paper towel. So with the method that I just showed you there, there's proof that it works right here. All of these peppers were sprouted doing the exact same way. All kinds of peppers down in here. Uh, there's some Santaka peppers in the back right there. Uh, we have some long red cayennes in the front. Everything that you see in the, um, in the styrofoam cups here, those are the hot pepper mix. Doing good as you can see there onto their second and third shoots of leaves. Green and healthy. So there's literally a couple hundred peppers on that shelf. Over here we have some Anaheim chilies. All kinds of good stuff there that we're going to have in the greenhouse this year.
So all in all, just remember that different pepper kinds of varieties, they're pretty finicky. Some are more finicky than others. Seeming to have trouble germinating, you can always put them in a humidor as well. Uh, that's one of these things right here. So we had great success with, uh, with planting them in our styrofoam containers and then putting them in the humidor on our heating pad, which could be an option as well. But yeah, it's, peppers are very finicky. They like really warm temperatures. They like uh, humid temperatures as most seeds do when starting. So um, I have two different kinds of hot peppers here. And one was planted on January 23rd and one was the one we just planted today. So there's, I'll just show you them just for a, a reference just to keep at it. So there's some on this hand right here that was planted on January 23rd, doing absolutely wonderful. And then these are the ones that, uh, that we planted here. So it just goes to show that peppers are slow growing um, and they'll take a little bit to get off the go. That's why we have started them so early because we wanna have some good sized pepper plants to go into the greenhouse when it's all said and done. These ones right here, these are a hot pepper mix and they're coming on to their second and third set of leaves. So super excited about that. As you've seen, the shelf over there is just filled with peppers, probably two or 300 peppers, anywhere from five to 10 different kinds, all going outside in the greenhouse when the time comes. So just keep at it. Sooner or later, soon enough, you'll have, uh, you'll have pepper plants looking like this, just looking absolutely wonderful, and you'll have a bountiful harvest when the time comes and save yourself for money because peppers are one of those things that are super, super expensive at the grocery store. So there we have it. I hope that has given you some inspiration and some tips for starting your own pepper plants from seed. It'll save you, uh, it won't save you some time, but it'll save you some money and it'll give you some knowledge that you weigh you won't have to rely on the nursery. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Many more videos to come. If you want to subscribe and like the video that'll help me in growing this channel, uh, be sure to check out my main channel. Just posted a video over there as well, Maple Monkey Media. Uh, building a cabin over there and I was down there and did a little bit of building. So the link will be in the bio for that as well. Muchly, muchly appreciate you all checking out this how to grow your peppers video from seed. Muchly appreciated. Keep that stick on the ice. Keep trucking forward. Right, Adam signing off here and we hope you have a blessed day. Cheers y'all.